Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 4 and I will demonstrate level design in Unity as well as talk about the scene view in detail. The scene view is a convenience tool for level design. It can be switched between 2D and 3D space depending on the dimensions of your game. I'm going to build a simple 3D scene in this episode. Let me quickly bring up the lighting tab and add a skybox material. Now it looks like a proper 3D level. Similar to most modeling software, you can move around the virtual space by panning the camera. You can move the camera vertically and horizontally by moving the mouse while holding down the middle mouse button. And moving the mouse while holding down the right mouse button rotates the camera. Let's add some objects and lights to the scene. The directional light acts as the sun, providing universal lighting. There are also different light options like spotlight, point light, etc. I will build a simple rocket launcher here using a cube and the prefabs we've added in the previous episode. There are six modes that you can use. The view mode pans the camera which functions the same as the middle mouse button. The move tool displays arrows on a selected object and allows you to change the object's position. Dragging these squares between the arrows moves the object in a plane dimension. The rotate tool displays circles, which you can change the orientation of objects. The scale tool, as it names, scales the objects. The Rect tool is mainly for UI elements. It allows you to change the transform properties of the UI elements. And finally, the transform tool allows you to change all the transform properties of objects all at once. At the top right corner of the scene view, there are a few options. This drop down list here allows you to choose the rendering mode, such as shaded and wireframe. This one switches between 2D and 3D. This button toggles the scene lighting. A default light will be used when it is off. This one mutes the audio. And this one here allows you to switch on and off different elements, like the skybox, particles, post-processing effects, etc. This scene camera settings tab is very useful if you work with very large scenes. I often work with extremely large open world scenes and being able to change the moving speed of the camera saves me tons of time. The maximum camera speed can be set to 99 and don't forget to adjust the actual speed using this slider here. Note this camera speed works only when you move the camera using the keyboard arrow keys. The clipping options tells the renderer the nearest and farthest distance from the camera for drawing. Clipping is useful for adjusting the performance and rendering precision. Finally, this drop-down list here allows you to toggle different debug renderings. You can also set the icon sizes that will appear in a scene view. I usually turn off 3D icons as I find them annoying due to the fact that they will block my view when editing the scene. We usually use the scene view together with the inspector to do fine adjustments to the transform properties, as well as the hierarchy to manage object relations. And that is basically how you build a scene quickly. This is episode 4 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I am Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.